What do you think of the Phantom of Haunted Hill on YouTube? Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. Did they come out? Hey there, folks. Welcome to another video here on Phantom of a Haunted Hill. I'm Mike, your Phantom. I'm five foot eight, 135 pounds. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about something I just I had to replenish into my collection. It's a classic, one of the greatest of all time. Creator, pleasure to kill. And look at how it's written over here. What does that say there? It looks like a grindcore band logo. But it does say remastered. So it's remastered. I haven't listened to it yet. I just got it. So here we got the... I'll show you here. We got the CD. Yes, indeed. We have their noise records. I think my brother had the original vinyl. And this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, remastering because it comes with a booklet. We'll open that up and pull out the booklet. Blah, you kid. <laughs> and it's got all kinds of pictures. It's got some stuff that Millie uh, wrote out. Hope this is coming out halfway decent. It's early in the morning and I haven't made a video, so I'm just doing this real quick here. I've been focusing on my other channel I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. See, we got all kinds of creator stuff. I even have pictures of a creator with my wife, Stella, the Thrash Queen. Then we got the lyrics. Right up, right up. <laughs> and the Pestilence. Awesome. Look at that. Metal Mania magazine. Remember that? I used to have those. I used to collect those. Under the Guillotine, Command of the Blade lyrics. And then we got some special thanks near the end there. Look at this. Thank you to the Phantom of Haunted Hill. Without you, we could have never have made it. Wow. If you'd like to find out if I'm lying or not, hit that subscribe button and hit like, and I'll have a reveal in a future video. <laughs> there you go. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we got creator there. Venter, the drummer, he sings two songs. What songs does he sing? I think he sings, does he sing Ride of Violence? And uh, I can't remember, The Pestilence. It's been such a long time and I'm so old. You know, yesterday on my radio show, well, I do two radio shows. One's a classic 80s metal show. And the other one is The Love of My Heart, my grindcore show. <laughs> but uh, yesterday I did a 1980s special on the classic metal show. And uh, it just had me going back in time. It's like in 1980, I was 14 years old. And I, I was already into Judas Priest and the Scorpions. All the 70s stuff. I grew up with before even Blackout. I remember when Blackout came out, you know, but that was years and years already into the Scorps with Uli Roth, you know. And I was just thinking about 
all those days and how great they were and how magical the old original metal days were, you know, and I really don't see kids today getting that out of uh, what's out. I mean, everything's rehashed, everything's mixed together. In a, in a way, you can almost say there is no more heavy metal because now you, they include opera in it or or they include it's in so much of it i listen i hear it on the radio and it's it's pop music is what it is pop music with a distorted guitar it's not metal fuck you this is metal <laughs> all right yes indeed creator pleasure to kill so Hope you like this video. If you haven't checked that out yet, please do. Above all other creators. See, and here's the way I, I take creator. I look like, well, I remember Endless Pain came out and that was a great album, but it kind of seemed a little off. I think what, what happened on Endless Pain was creator was trying to find themselves. And then on Pleasure to Kill, <laughs> they found it. They hit gold. And then, of course, they changed again the style after that for extreme aggression. And then that's kind of the creator until they went commercial themselves. <laughs> so I don't even listen to them anymore. I haven't listened to I could care less about any creator album that comes out nowadays. But that's just the phantom. Maybe that's why I live up here on this haunted hill. I'm trying to get some girls to come up here, you know, try to bring them on a date, and bring them up in here in my hearse. And they're like, I'm not going, I'm not climbing up them stairs. It's like, but it's the only way to my house. <laughs> we have to climb up 4,000 feet to get to the top of my, where my castle is, the haunted castle. Where else do you think the Phantom of Haunted Hill lives? incredible incredible and hey folks let's check this out just real quick one of my upcoming videos i'll be doing on this channel will be uh be more horror oriented but uh i'm going i was a, on a, a ghost investigation and watch this oh oh man I t told you that thing touched me. Look. Oh, man. Look at that. This is up my leg. Look. The ghost got me. You sure you want to continue on with this? You go. You know? That was insane, what happened. So we're going to be checking that out on an upcoming video that I'm working on. And yes, indeed, between radio shows and videos, and I really need to get caught up on eBay. I had, oh, I thought I had something to show you that I was getting rid of on eBay. Maybe I did that last video. The Phantom doesn't know what he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> anyway, hey. If you'd like to see the Phantom, know what he's doing. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And we may have a reveal in an upcoming video. <laughs> That's right. You never know. So, folks, there you go, man. Creator, pleasure to kill a total masterpiece from beginning to end. Brutally heavy. Just fucking awesome, man. The pride of violence. Death is your savior. You know, command of the blade. Under the <laughs> awesome. All right, we'll see you guys next video. Mm -hmm.